Hey guys, it's Big Tony here and today we're building a super small and super cozy little cabin that makes a great starter base. Now before we get started, here I made a list of approximately all the materials that we're going to need. So I'll leave this here for a minute, pause it if you need to and then we'll get started. So here I have the layout in place, go ahead and pause this if you need to copy it, but I'm going to get started. So we'll replace this yellow wool with barrels, and this will be the outline for the front porch. Next we can take some spruce planks and fill in this grass in the middle of the porch. Then we'll replace this blue wool block with a spruce plank. We can dig out all this grass inside. In this spot will be the chimney, so we'll place a brick block here and here. And then we can replace all of this air with spruce planks. Next we'll fill in the walls, so we're going to start with an oak log, we'll put them in each of the corners and on each side of the doorways. And finally we're going to take some smooth sandstone and cover the tops of the rest of the wool. Next I'm going to take some spruce fences and place them on top of these barrels. In the corner I'll make it two high, and then over one, and then another two high, and then three, and another two high in this corner. Then we'll fill in these other three barrels with fences. Now diagonally from this log I'm going to put a two high fence and same with these two logs here and this log here. Next we can start building up the walls a little bit more. So we'll take our oak logs up one more and then smooth sandstone. We'll leave a space for the window here and another space right here. Now let's put some glass in. So we'll put one here and this one will be too tall. I'm using light gray glass, but you can use plain glass if you prefer it. So before we build the walls up anymore, I just want to put the roof in place so we know how high to build the walls. So we'll start with a slab on the fence post, then a full block, then two slabs, a full block, two slabs again. And now we'll go on this fence post and go up with stairs. So a stair and then an upside down stair, normal stair, upside down stair, stair and then a full block right here where they meet. Now we can just fill in the walls up to this height. On this side over here we're going to do the same roof. So a slab and then a full block, two slabs, full block, two slabs, and lastly a full block with a stair, upside down stair, stair, stair on this fence post, and then another upside down stair. Now we can build up this wall to the same level and leave a space for the chimney. So we can do the chimney now. Let's go up two more with bricks. Then we're going to grab a brick stair and put that right here. And we'll continue the chimney one block inwards and it'll stick out from the roof by one. So now we can just finish filling in the roof. So a row of slabs and here we can just use slabs instead of full blocks so we have a little bit more height on the porch. Let's go slabs again now here we're going to use full blocks so we don't have a space above the sandstone. Slabs, full blocks, and then going back down we're going to go with stairs. So right here where this back entrance is, we're going to put stairs facing the other direction and connect them like this. Same thing over here, so on this stair, connect them, and then an upside down stair here and here and another row of stairs, an upside down stair and a slab here, and we'll connect the slabs going across to the rest of the roof, and we'll just fill this in with more stairs. Next we're just going to fill in the walls up to the level of the roof, so we'll take some oak logs here, and then an upside down spruce stair. Then we can take a spruce door and put it right here. And we'll go around to the other side, and place, place a door here, and then we'll build these walls up to the roof too. So an oak log here, and then smooth sandstone. And here we're going to place a spruce block. And we can actually make that an upside down stair. Now let's take a spruce trap door and place it here as a shutter. And on this wall we're going to place two, again for a shutter. Then we'll take a campfire and put it on top of this bricks and surround it by trap doors to make the chimney.
Next, let's take a lantern and put it on one of these fence posts. Then on the porch, we're going to take a flower pot, put it in the corner here, and you can put a sapling or a flower in it. Next, we'll take a stair with signs on both sides to make a chair. And on the back side, I'm going to replace this upside down stair with a full block so that I can place a lantern on it. So that's it for the exterior, and next we're going to go inside and decorate the interior. So the first thing I want to do here is we'll take a bed and place it here, and then three flip trap doors, two top slabs here with a chest on top. And then we can place some slabs here and an upside down stair to connect the trap doors to the roof. And then two more slabs. Next, let's take a crafting table and a furnace. I'll we'll place them right here and here. Put a cake on the furnace and a lantern on top of the crafting table. Next, I'm going to take an armor stand and put it by the door as a sort of coat hanger. Here, I'm going to put three barrels, just like this, and then trap doors underneath. And let's take two spruce slabs and put them right here. Right here, we can take another smooth sandstone block to connect it to the roof. And sandstone block here, too. Here, let's take a full block and put it right here. And then we'll take some stairs. We'll put a line of stairs going across right here. And not there. Let's just put slabs there for now. Next, we'll take a smoker, put it here where the chimney is, and then an upside down stair with the flower pot on top. And another upside down stair above it. Next, Let's just take another chest. I'll put the chest right here. Next, let's make an archway on this entrance. So we'll put two flip trap doors on each side. And then an upside down stair above each one. Next, I'm going to place a lantern here for some light. And above the chest, I'm going to put an item frame with a clock in it. Now, the last final step is to add a carpet. So I'm just going to use some light gray wool and some light gray carpets. I'm going to put kind of a random mix of them to add some texture. Once you have your carpet in place, we're finished with the house. And all that's left is to add a few decorations to the outside. Some things that you can add are just like farms or animal pens or a fishing pond or whatever you like. So enjoy this little cinematic here. So that concludes this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and-